I'm toast. I'm done. It's too late for me. You can't reverse all the things that I have. Lorene Hackett is a lifelong resident of Hoosick Falls, New York. She's also had a lifetime of exposure to a toxic chemical in the local water. What focuses me more is knowing my grandchildren's exposure levels. That frightens the hell out of me. That's what keeps me up at night. Hackett is just one of thousands of Hoosick Falls residents exposed to perfluorooctanoic acid. Commonly known as PFOA, it's a chemical that was used in local factories to manufacture numerous products. It's also linked to cancer, and it was leaked into the local water starting in the 1950s. Like Hackett, Michelle Baker was shocked to learn she'd ingested the chemical. It's inside of my blood. I didn't ask for it to be there. None of us did. And this is not fair to us. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation ordered two companies to pay for water filters at the local water plant and in each home using contaminated well water. Some people, like Sylvia Potter, have doubts water filters are the solution. I still use bottled water for drinking, and I don't know anybody who actually uses the tap water. About 600 miles away, near Parkersburg, West Virginia, was the site of the largest health study ever conducted. Nearly 70,000 people with PFOA contamination in their local water were examined and it was determined that PFOA could cause serious health risks to pregnancies and child development, to immune and hormone systems, and cause cancer. Manufacturers phased out the use of PFOA as of 2015. I've got geraniums, I've got begonias. I got other but for Hoosick Falls here. residents like Kevin Allard, it came much too late. Both of his parents died from cancer. And, and the cancer that my dad had, there's another guy in Hoosick Falls that has it. You see about five of those a year throughout the country. And there's two here. It's a chemical that doesn't go away. It's not biodegradable, and it can't be flushed from a person's body. I mean, this really was pretty pathetic. Dr. David Carpenter of the University at Albany says people with high PFOA levels will have it for the rest of their lives. So it's truly the forever chemical. It's the forever chemical, absolutely. In 2017, the New York State Department of Health issued a report claiming PFOA hasn't caused any health problems in Hoosick Falls. But the report is wrong, says Carpenter. That investigation was limited. Uh, it was flawed. What was inappropriate was the conclusion from the report that there was nothing to worry about. Dr. Howard Freed agrees. He believes the Department of Health, where he once worked, ignored possible health risks. But if you don't look for it, you're not going to find it, even if it's there. Summers are not so carefree anymore. No one swims or fishes in the Hoosick River because it still has a toxic chemical. Water contamination is a daily worry. My family was poisoned, my child was poisoned, I have been poisoned, my friends and family have been poisoned. PFOA is a carcinogen, it is a poison. While this community knows the dangers they face, others around the nation may not realize their water may have PFOA contamination. For those communities, Village of Hoosick Falls yeah. Mayor Rob Allen has some advice. It's important to look into it because this is the health of our constituents. This is the health of, of our citizens, our families. For Inside Your World Investigates, I'm Mark Hyman in Hoosick Falls, New York.